In the last video, we were watching about how we could create our functions and put them together with, in our case here, we just have it uh, together with get map and pull data out of this and so on. Uh, in the following video, or uh, in this video, I'm going to show you quickly what uh, a if-else statement is and how we can use those. So going forward, uh, in the next couple of videos, we're going to be using both if statements, we're going to be using the booleans, which is true or false, and we're going to be using mixins and combining all of these things, and also the SAS maps as well. This is where I left off last time with we input the calls and so on, but I'm just gonna use some of the space here at the bottom to continue with the SAS in this one. Now, first thing I wanna do is I just want to create a Boolean now. So you create your first Boolean by typing, in this case, I'm gonna call it time. And so we just create a standard variable like what up with color here, but we're only going to create something with a name to it, a string. And the name here is just gonna be morning. You can, whatever you want really, uh, call it here. But this is just for the purpose of this little exercise here. So right now we have a variable which is storing the data morning. Now we're going to create a if statement to this one so we, it can actually do things for us depending on the condition. Um, first things first, we need to go to our index and we need to have created a uh, a diff block called course, let's call it course, it just course, that's fine. So have it here, or if you have a, actually I'm gonna use my h1 up here, so instead of creating this, I am going to use the h1 I already have, that says hello all, so actually the one I have over here. I'm just gonna use that one. So I am now going to create my h1 here, like this, and I'm just gonna delete this one up here so it doesn't interfere with the thing I'm gonna do now. So my h1 here will contain my if statements um, and what I needed to do. An if statement looks like this. So just type at if like this. And what we can do with an if statement is we can give it a condition. So if something is true or false uh, or equals to something specific, if it is, do this. If it equals something else, do something else. If it's not, then do this. So basically it's looking at if for a condition, which again is could be a true false statement. First condition we're going to be looking at is, of course, uh, is we're not going to use the parentheses, but we're going to have this. So we're going to extract or look at the data in our time here. So we already created the variable and we're going to use that specific uh, stored data in that one to determine if our if statement is true or false. So by doing a add if, and adding in my variable here, I now inputted my first piece of information. And now I'm going to make a, not, actually not a, but two equal signs. So I'm telling the system now if time is equals, specifically equal to morning, which it will be because that's what we're stating up here, then you need to do something for me. And in this case, you need to create the color red. So if time is equal to morning, it's going to, in my h1, remember here the h1, it's going to add a CSS that colors the text red. That's all this one does for now. We can click save and see what happens. And it should be red over here. And woo, it is red. So right now this statement is true because morning equals this. Now, I wanna continue with this because I wanna build even more on top of this. So I'm going to create something called an else if statement. So if morning is not true, then I wanted to do something else. And I still want to use my time because that's the one we created. It makes sense, right? And I do almost the same thing, but instead of having morning, I am typing in afternoon. 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 Sorry. <laughs> uh, and we're going to do the same procedure here. So if, else if time equals afternoon and then we create our curly brackets and it, between those two curly brackets we write the uh, CSS that we want. So this is very similar to the responsive uh, web design as well uh, or the other things we've been doing for, as of now. So this is not going to be red if it's equal to afternoon, it's going to be orange. So now we have two statements, either it's morning or if it's not morning, is it then afternoon? But what if it's none of these two? What do we do then? 
So if I change it up here to morning to afternoon, like this, this over here should go to orange and you can see the color, so it changes to orange. So depending on what's in our variable up here, if it's morning or afternoon, it's going to change the color of my H1. We can even, we can add a last one here that is called a else. We can continue using as many else if as, as, we, as we want if, uh, in any case. But if we just want to have a, uh, what we can call it a backup. Um, if none of these two are true, so if this one doesn't equals to afternoon or morning, if I just create a, after I spelled it wrong, afternoon, it's going to go black over here, but, or it's actually going to crash uh, because I'm not done over here. But I'm going to put in some information in this else statement. So instead of just falling back to the black standard font color, I'm going to add a backup color for it basically. And by this, by doing this, I just need to do the same procedure. So create two curly brackets and type in a color that's gonna be blue, like this. So once I refresh over here, it's gonna say hello all in blue because that is my fallback. None of these two are true. So none of afternoon, nope, that's not the same. Morning, nope, that's not the same. So it's going to go to the default or the backup version. If none of these two are true, then you're going to show the blue one. Now just change it to afternoon, orange. If it changes to morning, funnily enough, goes red. And that's basically a simple way of looking at an else if statement that we're going to be using in the coming videos. So variable up here, if statement here, uh, else, if, if else statement that we're going to determine which uh, color the text is going to be in this case. Cool, see you in the next video.